So now that I have an actual clay model, I can go ahead and start to begin to model it. Set my view to front here. And I'm going to open up a sketch plane that I have imported in previously. Now you can see on this plane I have some curves, some sketch curves, and I have an image created, happened to be created in Adobe Illustrator. I can take these curves, and these curves were drawn in clay tools, I can take these curves and I can project these right onto the surface of the clay. So I can select the project sketch tool, and I'm just going to select each of these individual curves that make up the, the profile of this woman, and I'm going to project them down to the surface of the clay just by selecting each one and clicking with the stylus button. And I, I'm going to go ahead and hide my plane now. You can see that I've established a closed curve loop on the surface of my clay. Now I can use this curve loop to do a variety of different modifications, manipulations. I'm going to use a tool called Tug Area. I'm going to select my profile. In the data bar, I'm going to set my fullness slider all the way to the right. You're going to see a little hand appear, and I can pull up, and I get this elastic type modification, this pillow type manipulation I can do to the surface of the clay. It's great for organic shapes, and it's great for the shape of this face, because I can really quickly move out the areas and the volumes of this face in a very organic manner.